Hello and welcome to the 18th video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. In this video we're going to carry on with the square attack function. So square is attacked by defined side and build up the function for all of the other pieces apart from pawns. Just to remind very quickly how we do this, say we're asking is this square highlighted in yellow here attacked, we're basically going to take each of the directions that say in for a knight that a knight can attack this square from, so directions away from 54, square 54, we'll just loop through all these directions and then test is the piece on the particular square a knight and of the correct colour that we want to see is it attacking our square. And the same thing will be done with the directions for a king with the eight squares around and then slightly differently we'll then iterate for not for sliding pieces in the given direction as well. The first thing we need to be able to do this is in devs.js uh, we need to define some arrays which I've done just below piece slides. I have to find four arrays here with the knight direction, the rook directions, the bishop directions and the king directions as well. And the queen in this case will be combined with the rook and the bishop test each time. So on to board.js then. The way we do this then for non-sliding pieces is quite easy. We just loop through the available indexes. So just index equals naught, index less than eight. In the case of a knight, we'll be doing now index plus plus. And then we'll simply say that our piece is equal to game board dot pieces. And then we'll have the square we're looking at in question plus then the knight direction of the array that we've just had in desk.h of index which will give us as we go through this loop then the each of the various directions that we're looking for and all we need to simply do then is a test to say okay if the piece is not equal to uh, p squares dot offboard sorry and the piece color of our piece is equal to side and we can say piece knight equals true then we know that we have a knight of the correct color and it must be then attacking our square, so we can return bool dot true. To do sliding pieces, we have to add an extra loop in here because we need to then iterate through this direction, which is why we've defined this t square up here. So for the sliding pieces, we're going to have similar to a put above, but a loop of four directions remember because rooks and bishops have four directions they can loop in. We then set the first square that we're going to iterate in into t square already so square plus the direction in this case we have the rook and then we get the piece and what we say is we say that while the piece is not equal to squares dot off board so whilst we're on the board then we keep looping until we hit a piece so we'll say if the piece is not equal to pieces dot empty. So if it wasn't piece uh, empty, then we're going to have to break out of the loop. The only question is, is is the piece of the type that we want? And here we put to use our piece rook queen array and say if the piece is a rook or a queen, and if the color is the correct color, then it must be attacking us otherwise we just simply break because we've hit a piece so we can't iterate any further anyway if it was an empty piece however then we simply then move on to the next square so we increment t square by our direction and then set our piece to the piece on t square and then if this is then off board then by the next loop starting the while loop the while loop will break out and we test for empty and so on we do exactly the same thing then for the bishop, so I'm just going to copy and paste this now down below and move things up a little bit, except now instead of RK it will be BI direction, and instead of rook queen we will have bishop queen here, 
And the last thing to do is for the knight to copy the knight code and paste that below here. And that's now put an I instead of the end because we're looking for the king and replace knight here with king. And that's all there is to it. The last thing to do at the bottom of the function, of course, is to return bool dot false. And that's the square attacked function written. In the next video, we'll write a function that actually prints the squares attacked to the screen. So it'll just be a little bit debugging. We'll set some positions up in the browser and just quickly check that we are indeed detecting the correct attack squares. But that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.